must be out of his mind. Where is he going? Take your time when moving slowly. Greetings, Altair. What news? Al Muallim has named another. Calls himself Sabrand. I am familiar with the man. Newly appointed leader of the Knights Teutonic, he resides in the Venetian Quarter and runs Akka's port. I'll start my work at once. Here are the places where you should focus your search. On the docks east of here, among the ships and their crews. At the chapel to the northeast, near the cross overlooking the port. And to the north, in front of St. John's Gate. This is most helpful. My thanks for the guidance. Altair. Yes, Rafiq. I owe you an apology. For what? For doubting your dedication to our cause. No, it was I who erred. I believe myself above the creed. You owe me nothing. As you wish, my friend. Go in safety. You were not allowed to be here. Leave. I hear you're looking for information on Sibran. Karm's found something you'd probably find useful. Best track him down if you want it. Si vous l'apercevez, ne le laissez pas s'enfuir. Better I can go where I swear to you. Come on, come on! What's going to him? <laughs> Much <unpacked. laughs> Why are you so cruel? Tu paieras cher pour tes crimes. Bandit, j'aurai ta peau. He should stop acting like a child. Safety and peace, brother. I've been looking everywhere for you. I stole this letter earlier today. Read it over. Hopefully it'll be a use. Money. 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 Money.
the love of God, what is no, it that you please, want? My order is simple. Go All away! Merchant vessels must be turned over to the Teutonic Order. Clear out your cargo. Ship deeds must be presented to the court of the chain by midday tomorrow. No exceptions, no delays. All dock vessels must be cleared of crew and cargo. Captains are to present themselves to a representative from the Teutonic Order for reassignment. Any attempt to maintain possession of a claimed vessel will be punished severely. It's not my fault. I'm only following orders. If you want your ship back, speak with the court. That's not what I'm after. Then what? Sabran's claimed near a hundred ships. For what purpose? A blockade. They're to sail for open water and establish a perimeter. For what? Does Salah Hadin intend to strike from sea? No, it's not he we defend against, but ships from home to deny Richard more troops. Why would one of Richard's own want to see him weakened in this way? I don't know. Ask Sibran. They're his orders. I'm just meant to carry them out. Now, please, let me go. I've told you all I know. I'm sorry. I cannot risk you telling him I'm here. <laughs> Did they let you into the city, or did you fight your way in? Oh, perhaps I should be more respectful, as I myself now require your help. I spent too much time in the harbor brothel last night, and insulted a Teutonic knight's wife, or so I am told. Now there is a group of them after me. Could you give me a hand or a blade? If you return before I leave the city, I will give you the benefit of my wisdom.
one responsible for this. <laughs> you are a lucky man. You are alive, and I am still an Akka. Here is what I have to tell you. The only thing more dangerous than a drunken sailor is one who is also angry. I know it does not seem like much, but with your wisdom, I am sure it will help. Greetings, brother. How fares your search? I've learned all there is to know about my target. Share your knowledge with me, then. Sabrand is said to be consumed by fear, driven mad by the knowledge that his death approaches. He has sealed the docks district, and now hides within waiting for his ship to arrive. This will make things dangerous. I wonder how it is he learned of your mission. The men I've killed, they are all connected. Al Muallam warned me that word of my deeds has spread among them. Be on your guard, Altair. Of course, Rafiq. But I think it will be to my advantage. Fear will weaken him. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Master Sibrand, I would never propose violence against any man, and, and most certainly not against you. So you say, and yet no one here will vouch for you. What am I to make of this? I, I live a simple life, my lord, as do all men of the cloth. It is not for us to call attention to ourselves. Perhaps. Or perhaps they do not know you because you are not a man of God, but an assassin! Never! You wear the same robes. If they cover themselves as we do, it is only to instill uncertainty and fear. You must not give in. Are you calling me a coward? Challenging my authority? Are you perhaps hoping to turn my own knights against me? No, 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 no. I, I don't understand why, why you're doing this to me. I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> I don't recall accusing you of any wrongdoing, which makes your outburst rather odd. Is it the presence of guilt that compels a confession? But I confess nothing. Ah, defiant to the very end. What do you mean? William and Garnier were too confident, and they paid for this with their lives. I won't make the same mistake. If you truly are a man of God, then truly the Creator will provide for you. Let him stay my hand. You've gone mad. Will none of you come forward to stop this? He is clearly poisoned by his own fear, compelled to see enemies where none exist. Seems the people share my concern. What I do, I do for Acre! Oh! Stay vigilant, men. Report any suspicious activity to the guard. I doubt we've seen the last of these assassins. Persistent bastards. Now get back to work.
Be safe now, held in the arms of your god. Have my brothers taught you nothing? I know what waits for me. For all of us. If not your god, then what? Nothing. Nothing waits. And that is what I fear. You don't believe. How could I, given what I know? What I've seen? Our treasure was the proof. Proof of what? That this life is all we have. Linger a while longer, then, and tell me of the part you were to play. A blockade by sea, to keep the fool kings and queens from sending reinforcements. Once we... once we... Conquered the Holy Land? Freed it, you fool, from the tyranny of faith. Freedom? You worked to overthrow cities, control men's minds, murdered any who spoke against you. I followed my orders. Believing in my cause. Same as you.
Altair, you've caused quite a stir. I've done as requested. Sabran's life is ended. So it is. So it is. You should ride for Masiaf and inform Al Muallim of your success. Yes. I should return and speak to him. Of this and other things. Is everything all right, my friend? You seem distant. It's nothing, Rafiq. Just a lot on my mind. Talk to me then. Let me help. I need to make sense of this myself first. But thank you for the offer. It is the men you kill, isn't it? You feel something for them. How? Ah, my friend. You are not meant to enjoy these grim tasks. Regret, uncertainty, sympathy. This is to be expected. I should not fear these feelings. You should embrace them. They are what keep you human. What if I'm wrong? What if these men are not meant to die? What if they mean well? Misguided, perhaps, but pure in motive. I am but a Rafiq, Altair, and such things are beyond me. Perhaps Al Mualim can help you to make sense of it. Yes, perhaps. Thank you, Rafiq. It is my pleasure to have served with one as skilled as you. Forwarding memory to a more recent one. Not a lot of time, Vic. Understand this narrow watch window. Wherever it's hidden, time to retreat. Working on it. And when it's done, he'll be taken care of. I want that progress report by tomorrow morning. I've got some work I need to do. So you've got the rest of the night to yourself. I think there's a problem with the Animus. Nope. It's working fine. I'm pretty sure it just ejected me I'm when I... I'm pretty sure you should shut up. You ready to finally tell me what's going on? We have to stop them, Desmond. When they access that last memory of yours, they're just getting started. They want to change everything. The way we live, the way we think, the way we are. You've gotten the lecture from Vidic about what's wrong with the world, how we need order and discipline, so they're going to give it to us. Only we don't have a say in the matter. How? The Templar treasure. They think it... Miss Stillman? I'm here. I need you to upload Desmond's files to the database. Got it. So what? You're using me to find this Templar treasure? What do they call it? The Peace of Eden? Yes. Well, it's looking like it's at Messiah. So I don't know why they're wasting all this time with me. Why don't they just send their people to pick it up? They can't. It's not that simple. The artifact from Messiah, they had it. It was destroyed in the accident. Then what are they hoping for me? You know, for my ancestor to tell them? They're hoping he'll show them where the other ones are. You mean there's more than one of these things? Oh, Desmond, you have no idea. Is there a problem, Mr. No, Dillman? Warren. Everything's Denver on my end. Then, where are the files? I've got to move these files before he gets suspicious. We'll talk more later. Wait, what's that mean, everything's Denver? It means everything's fine. Why Denver? It's a reference to Denver International Airport. There's an underground facility there. It's where the accident happened.
Time's wasting, Mr. Miles. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. We're nearly done, you know. And then what? You'll see. Maybe they'll even let you watch when it begins. It's not as terrible as you think. Look, I know you're not gonna let me leave. So why not tell me what's going on? Humor me. I'm not an idiot, Mr. Miles. I think you've already learned quite a bit. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course not. All right, let me ask you something else then. Yes? Some of the stuff I'm seeing in the Animus, sometimes it seems wrong. Untrue, like the history is off somehow. It doesn't... It doesn't what, Mr. Miles? Match up with what you read on an online encyclopedia? What your high school history teacher taught you? Let me ask you something. Do these supposed experts have access to secret knowledge, kept hidden from the rest of us? There are books, letters, documents, all sorts of source material from back then. Some of it seems to contradict what the Animus is showing me. Anyone can write a book, and they can put whatever they want on its pages. Anything. <laughs> Used to be we thought the world was flat. Some people still do. Yes, and they publish books about it. Or that the moon landing was a hoax. I believe there's also a book claims the world was created in seven days. A bestseller, too. Where's this going, Doc? The point, I suppose, is that you shouldn't trust everything you hear, everything you read. What's that your ancestors said? Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Yes, exactly. It's part of what makes the Animus so spectacular. There's no room for misinterpretation. There's always room. Touché, Mr. Miles. Now that I've answered your question, can we begin? structures to gain a bird's eye view. Come in, my student. We have much to discuss. We are close, Altair. Robert de Sable is now all that stands between us and victory. It is his mouth gives the orders. His hand pays the gold. With him dies the knowledge of the Templar treasure and any threat it might pose. I still don't understand how a simple bit of treasure could cause so much chaos. The peace of Eden is temptation given form. Merely look at what it's done to Robert. Once he tasted of its power, the thing consumed him. He saw not a dangerous weapon to be destroyed, but a tool. One that would help him realize his life's ambition. He dreamed of power then? Yes and no. He dreamed and still dreams. Like us, of peace. But this is a man who sought to see the Holy Land consumed by war. No, Altair. How can you not see when you're the one that opened my eyes to this? What do you mean? What do he and his followers want? A world in which all men are united. I do not despise his goal. I share it. But I take issue with the means. Peace is something to be learned, to be understood to be embraced. He would force it. And rob us of our free will in the process. Strange to think of him in this way. Never harbor hate for your victims, Altair. Such thoughts are poison and will cloud your judgment. Could he not be convinced then to end his mad quest? I spoke to him in my way through you. What was each killing if not a message? But he has chosen to ignore us. Then there's only one thing left to do. Jerusalem is where you faced him first. It's where you'll find him now. Let this final offering lend you strength. Go, Altair. It's time to finish this. <laughs> 